Why was this agency so necessary? Why were all the existing bank regulators asleep at the switch? Why did they all ignore the mass marketing of booby-trapped loans to tens of millions of homeowners and the mass marketing of pie-in-the-sky mortgage-backed securities to pension funds and investors around the world? Add incentives. So you had four regulators, and they also had the obligation to promote the banking system. There was no agency that really looked at protecting consumers as their first job. In fact, they looked at it as being in opposition to their primary job. Protecting consumers went against allowing banks to charge the highest fees possible because if banks charge the highest fees possible, then the banks by definition were making more money and if they were making more money, the banking system would be safe. Consumer protection was a afterthought that conflicted with pr promoting and protecting the banking system. And then the other part of the, si the system that made things even worse was that banks could charter shift. They could decide okay, I don't want to be a state bank anymore. I'd rather be a national bank because the Office of Controller of the Currency gives me the most power, lets me do the most reckless things, and the banks would bet the agencies against each other. Why did the agencies care? Well, among other things, the more banks were under your agency, the more fees your agency received to run the agency. You could build a bigger castle on the Potomac. So there was a race to the bottom.